Hey Leo, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, guys, so this is going to be your October monthly spread. So let's see what is happening for all Leos, okay? What is happening for the sign of Leo? Past, present, future, what is happening for the sign of Leo in the month of October? All right, guys, let's see how this is going to play out. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. All right, so your energy here is the Knight of Cups in the reverse, okay? Not always the best energy to have. Okay, but I am not here to sugarcoat and I don't reshuffle and, you know, start these videos again. Uh, there could be someone that you were dealing with here, possibly a water sign, um, or this could be your energy, okay? Someone who was being promiscuous in a sense, which was put, uh, you know, it put a, I don't want to say it, it put a delay on a new start that could have come in. Or maybe it stopped that new start from coming in. And you were in a place that maybe you felt undecided about something okay but there is a lot of happiness here so let's see uh where this spread is going to take us okay now the first card that you guys have for the past is the devil card now the devil card yes it could be a toxic situation but the devil card shows up when there's a situation where we're feeding our ego more than we're feeding our soul okay where we're feeding into things that have to do with uh, bodily experiences in a sense as opposed to something that is going to uh, take us to the next soul level okay something that's going to nourish our soul all right so let's see what's going on with this devil card here four of cups so there's something here that may have been toxic uh, but there is an offer that or there was something that you guys offered to someone and maybe they didn't take it or vice versa. They offered it to you, but you did not take it. All right. And with the Page of Swords, there's very direct communication about this. All right. You're moving away from a situation that may have been bad. Okay. With the Ten of Swords in the reverse, this is you guys getting over a betrayal that may have happened. Um, and with the Seven of Swords in the reverse, there may have been a secret that came out. Possibly about someone here who was being fake. It could have been you or it could have been the party involved. Okay, uh, but there's something here that was not accepted. Now, the next card that you guys have for the past is the Temperance card. So, this is you guys finding balance in the situation. The Sun card in the reverse. Um, the Sun card in the reverse, this is some unexpected news that may come out. This could be someone coming into your life that you didn't expect to come into your life, or you going into someone else's life and they just didn't expect that either. Okay, so let's see what this card is about here. The world card in the reverse. Okay, so there's a situation here that um, where I feel that there's information that came out and it made you feel like you had unfinished business with the past, like there was some sort of closure that you needed or something that needed to be addressed. Um, and it was someone that, it was with someone that you had moved away from. Okay, something that may have made you very unhappy. Uh, now you do have the judgment card, so the cards are saying that you are right to walk away. And with the eight of swords in the reverse, uh, you got out of uh, you got out of your head about a lot that may have been uh, mentally holding you back in a sense. Okay. So yeah, maybe you felt like I'm sorry, guys. This is not centered, and my OCD is kicking in. But um, you may have felt the need to give someone closure, or maybe get closure. Um, and I said this in a video today closure that that's a man-made concept it's not something that we necessarily need uh, if you feel bad in the situation that's closure enough you don't need to question anything else you don't need to explain anything else you feel bad you walk away that's the closure you not feeling good is closure okay now the last card that you guys have here for the past is the three of swords in the reverse so there's a situation here that you may still be heartbroken about, but you're trying to kind of play it down and tell people you're not bothered by it, but you are. Or this could be a sense of forgiveness. Okay, the strength card in the verse, that's your card there. So that's you guys not feeling strong about a situation, you know, and maybe you're uh, coming off to the world as strong and, you know, 
just doing it and getting through this but deep down you know when you go home at night this could have been something that really was on your mind and that bothered you all right with the hermit card i feel that you guys kind of just retreat from a situation kind of go into a place of solitude um if not solitude just a place that you're thinking a lot you know how did i get myself to this point how do i move forward from this what did i learn from this what can i do to avoid this in the future okay because there could be a lot of conflict within yourself about whatever situation you have to walk away from in your present moment you guys have the queen of pentacles in the reverse so there could be an earth sign here that's very significant for you uh, but this earth sign they're being immature right now um, you know they could be extremely stubborn which you know for an earth energy that's that's normal for us sometimes and I say that because I'm a Taurus but uh, there could be this sense of instability with this queen of pentacles in the reverse because in the upright she's usually very very stable and this could be a male or a female okay this energy is interchangeable guys so this could be you guys taking this energy it could be an earth sign that you're dealing with or just anyone who's taking this energy but uh, there's a sense of someone who's being overly um, negligent or overly overbearing okay but this person is upset Lover's card in the reverse, you know, this is a situation that I feel that you drop, a loving situation that you drop, yeah. Uh, with the Page of Wands, that's your energy. And in the upright, that's you guys, you know, giving messages of passion or offering something, uh, you know, with passion uh, attached to it. But here, you're, you're not giving in. You're not giving them love. You're not giving them passion. And that's probably what has them upset. Okay? Yeah. Eight of Wands in the reverse, you guys are cutting someone out and they're not happy about it. But this, uh, you know, propels you in a good direction. With the Wheel of Fortune, you know, it's showing that whoever you left behind or whatever situation you, you left behind, because for those not in a relationship, this could be uh, leaving a job or this could be, uh, you know, falling away from a family member that could have been toxic or a friend that could have been toxic. But by dropping this, whatever it was, you know, it was a very good thing. And for those cross-watching, because I always like to address both parties here, so that you guys aren't feeling absolutely bad. Um, you know, with this thing ending, don't don't let it eat at you too much, okay? Because this is going to be a situation where if things just weren't working, if it was a toxic situation, it's best for both people, okay, to move away and to rebuild themselves separately, okay? Learn what you needed to from uh, the situation, but, you know, move forward with integrity and with strength and find something that's going to be better suited for you, okay? Now, with the Wheel of Fortune, Leo's, things are, you know, uh, moving forward in a good way for you. But with the Nine of Cups in the reverse, you may not see it at first, okay? There may be something that you're dissatisfied about, and it could be this falling out, you know, maybe this is something that's not easy for you. And with the Three of Swords in the reverse, uh, it's showing that it's not easy for you. And you're moving towards something good. You might not just see it right away because of, you know, the fresh wound that you may have. But with the Nine of Wands, you are standing your ground and you are being resilient. But with this Nine of Wands, there's a sense of, you know, when is something really good going to come in? You know, when is this going to change? When is this pattern going to change? But it's something, it's a change that's coming soon. Um, a lot of this is you guys standing your ground with whatever you're letting go of. Okay, but just know, maybe it doesn't feel good right now as you guys are watching this because this is your present moment. Excuse me, but with the Wheel of Fortune there, just know that it's going to bring something good into your life. The next card you guys have for your present moment is the Tower in the Reverse. So with this Tower in the Reverse, there's a change that's happening within a situation or a job attached to you or another person in your life. But this is going to be something that, um, you know, it, it affects you secondhandly or secondhand, you know, it affects you. Secondhandly, I think I just made up a word, guys. All right, but secondhand, it does affect you. Now, whatever this is, this change that's occurring within someone else, um, and this could be something that you're causing, you know, you may be the catalyst of this change that they're having, or whatever this is with job, whatever changing this is, it's a good thing. You know, we have the judgment card upright. So this is a good change here. And with the magician in the reverse, you know, there could be someone manipulative here. Okay, someone who changed a lot. So this is just saying that moving away from whatever this was, was good judgment. You still could be dealing with uh, the leftover energies of this uh, situation or this person. But it's saying there's a lot of manipulation here and it was good judgment to move forward. 
with the death card in the reverse, you might still uh, be emotionally invested, but you're moving forward as yourself, the Knight of Wands, okay? You're healing from any secrets or deceptions that may have been here, and it's like you're seeing clarity to the situation. Now, the first card you guys have for the future, bam, the Six of Wands. So you guys are proud here. You guys are feeling good about a certain situation. Eight of Pentacles. Uh, this could be something new that's happening within work that's going to be good for you guys or something that you are putting your energy in. Uh, you know, you have your desired outcome there. And with the Two of Swords, you know, you could be unsure. You could be stuck between the past and the present because it's like you have good things that are coming in. Uh, but there's something that you're undecided about, although life is taking a good turn for you guys. Let me get one more card in this area. All right, the High Priestess in the Reverse. So yeah, that's the only thing. You guys are going to be in your heads about this. With the High Priestess in the Reverse, you're not sure if you made the right decision. You're not sure if you made the right move. That's why you're in your head and you're weighing back and forth. Was this the right thing to do? Did I make the right decision? Yeah, hell yeah, you made the right decision. All right, you got the Wheel of Fortune the moment you dropped whatever this was. You guys are good. Don't stress yourself. Don't worry yourself. Um, you know, listen to your gut at all times. You know, that, that's what God and that's what the universe gives to us. That's, that's our gift, our intuition. So when a situation feels bad, again, uh, there's no need for closure. The fact that you feel bad, is that's, that's closure. Okay? It doesn't make you feel good. There's, there's nothing else you need to know about the situation. The next card you guys have for your future is a page of cups in the reverse. Okay? So let's see what this is about. Let me get one more card here. Okay. So in the future, there is going to be something that comes out. This could be related to something that you're passionate about or something that you were building. Uh, for some of you, this could be a water sign that you're dealing with. But there is going to be a secret here that comes out with the Seven of Swords in the reverse where this person may stop contacting you or you may stop contacting them uh, you know, in a loving way. Or you may stop contacting them about whatever project or whatever you guys are building together. And with the Knight of Swords, you know, I feel that you guys are taking the energy of the Knight of Swords. And it's like you have tunnel vision and you're cutting out anything that's not going to serve you or anything that's going to be too heavy for you. With the Death card in the reverse, you know, I feel that this may have to do with the past still. Okay, maybe the past is still trying to come in. All right, Knight of Cups in the reverse, yeah. Uh, so there could be a situation, you know, you have the Ace of Swords here and you have the Knight of Swords. Anytime a sword suit comes out, uh, this is focus, but this is cutting out what's unnecessary. The Ace of Swords, this is all about a new start, but this is a start that it wasn't easy to get to. Okay, you have to go through a lot of shit to get here. And, you know, in order for this new start, there's someone that you have to leave behind. Okay. Yeah, so for some of you that were dealing, you know, uh, with a water sign, there may be a fallout there, okay? This, this could be your energy as well. And if this is your energy coming through as promiscuous, just keep in mind that if you do something, um, you know, in, in regards to cheating or just stepping out or just being unreliable, you could possibly lose a good thing because you guys have a lot of good things coming in. So don't self-sabotage, okay? The last card that you guys have for the future is a hanged man in the reverse. So the hanged man in the reverse is, uh, you know, you were in a place of being in limbo in a sense, not knowing how to move forward or not being able to move forward, but now you're slowly moving forward. Because there's somebody here, it could be you guys or it could be the person that you're dealing with, that they're being fake, they're being a mask, or, or wearing a mask in a sense. Okay? But with the Ten of Cups here, you moving forward and you dropping the situation, it's leading you to the Ten of Cups, okay? So it keeps showing that whatever fuck up is happening, whether it's the person doing it to you or you doing it to them, it doesn't matter. It was a tough situation where you're cutting off a start to something in order to avoid tension, but with the Hierophant behind you, that's, you know, that's the universe confirming. We have your back. We got you. Moving away from this is the best thing that you can do, okay? So, uh, you know, leave it off with that, that you guys are in a place where, you know, you, you're making the right choice, even if you don't feel it, you are, okay? Now, uh, let me get you guys uh, an Oracle card. So this is just going to be your guidance for the month of October, all right? And for those who are new, 
This is the Earth Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer, and they're awesome and always very, very uh, accurate. So let's see, what guidance does Sign of Leo need for October? Well, that was quick. Okay, you guys got karma. All right, DNA, karma. It's all right. Let's see how this plays out. All right. So I'm just going to read you guys the advice uh, portion of this, okay? Aspects of your soul entered your primitive physical self long before you had begun to take form. While the DNA that you inherited from your biological parents has a physical component, it also has a soul pattern that came together in the creation of you. You are predisposed to follow the karmic dictates of this patterning to some extent. Yet, as you evolve in your consciousness and expand the light of awareness, you can make choices that shift and modify this ancestral design. This is one of those times. You can feel the tug of your soul that is both ancient and karmic, yet you also recognize the persistent and loving communion from your higher self that contradicts the more familiar solutions before you. The choice is up to you, but know that every time you heed the guidance of your higher self, no matter what etheric or physical form it takes, human consciousness is elevated. In a sense, it becomes a choice between destiny and fate. Okay, so this is very interesting because, you know, in a sense, it's saying that sometimes we may put ourselves in tricky situations when we don't listen to our intuition. All right, and there's going to be a part in this month where, uh, you know, some of you are going to feel like you're, you don't know if you're making the right choice. You're not sure if uh, your higher self wants you to go in the direction that you're going in. So that has to be something that, you know, you guys work on. Because Leo's, I always say, you guys are naturally very, very strong, magnetic, you know, very powerful leaders. Um, so you have to get into that mindset where you're not questioning yourself. If your gut is telling you something, listen to that. Because the more that we learn to trust ourselves and the more that we're in tune with what our soul wants, you know, on a very, very deep level, that's when new good things come into our lives. So we have to, you know, in a sense, look at things from, um, from in a more in-depth uh, place. You don't want to look at things too shallow. You don't want to say, oh, you know, this person's ugly. Let me just cut them off. You know, let's be a little bit more... Um, Let's put a lot more thought into the things that we do, okay? Not saying that you guys are making bad decisions, but uh, when you're able to go with the flow of your heart and with the, with what feels right, that's when good things are going to keep happening to you guys. So again, I see that there's something in the past that, you know, maybe coming back in or something that you're letting go of, but your future is so beautiful, all right? The only thing that can ruin it is negative thoughts, all right? What we think, we attract, all right? What we think is what we are. So if you guys are waking up like, shit, I think I made the wrong decision, fuck, 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 you know, and you're just sitting there and uh, you're thinking the worst, you know, everything in your life is going to kind of revolve around that, okay? But if you wake up, you have purpose in your life and you're just like, okay, you know, I think I did make the right decision, let me just go with it because, you know, I already made that decision, so all I can do at this point is move on with my life and hope for the best, and you have that optimistic view, you're almost always going to attract beautiful things. All right. Usually, uh, when bad things come in, it's because we're doing something to attract it. All right. So you guys are in a place where you're moving away from something that was very toxic. So you have this clean slate in front of you, where now you're able to dictate what happens. All right. You're responsible for your energy, and your energy is responsible for what comes into your life. So make sure that good things are coming in. All right, Leos, you guys are awesome. Um, now, three things. So I am going to be in New York, October 26th and 27th, doing a meet and greet. So this is going to be in White Plains, New York, which is in Westchester County. All right, now uh, I'll leave the link for um, the tickets to purchase. This is going to be um, a limited event. There's only about 16 tickets, I think, left. Now what that ticket is going to do is going to buy you an hour slot with me. So with that, you know, we're just going to talk, chill, vibe, because uh, I'm definitely excited about meeting some of you guys. And I'll read your cards. And you are able to bring up to two friends or, you know, whoever you want to bring um, to this as well. And if they want their cards read, you know, I can do that. And you guys can divide it up however you want. Okay? But it's just going to be a chill, cool environment. Um, the second thing is I am doing one-on-one -on -one tarot lessons. So for those uh, who are interested in doing it, I am offering that through Skype. I put all the information in my description as well, as well as um, 
the cards that I recommend. So I'm open to anybody, you know, uh, beginners, intermediate, advanced, wherever you feel you fall, that's fine. You know, I, you know, I'm willing to work with you, not a problem. Um, and again, the decks that I recommend are also in the description. And then the third thing is for those who uh, have been looking to get personal readings for me, um, right now for the month of October, I am trying to get everything out within five days. Okay, that is always my intention and my goal. But, you know, sometimes the load does get a little heavy and it is hard for me to work on the weekends sometimes. So, um, you know, to give myself a cushion, seven to ten days at most. So ten days is the most that you guys would ever wait for a personal reading. Now, if there's something very pressing and urgent, please get the emergency reading. I always get those out within 24 hours. If you absolutely need it, you know, that same day, let me know. But I, you know, nine out of ten times I get it to you the same day. Unless you guys order it, like, super late or, like, I've already had a glass of wine or something, you know, I'll, I'll leave it for the next morning. Um, but, yeah, if you guys do get a reading and you do it, uh, normal reading, you know, you're not rushing it, please, please, please uh, don't, you know, press me for the reading if ten days have not passed. If the 11th morning you wake up and the reading's not there, then go ahead, email me. Or if you guys have to update me on the circumstance, um, definitely email me so that you can update me on what's going on. But please just be patient because I just get very anxious uh, when I have a lot of emails asking, you know, where's my reading, where's my reading? And the person just purchased it like two or three days ago. So, um, yes, let me work. And, you know, um, if I don't have those emails coming in, it's just quicker for me to get through everything. Um, I may not respond at first, but if you guys are using PayPal, uh, you're sending it to high vibrations, you're going to know if you do send it through PayPal, it's going to let you know who you're sending the money to. So it'll say high vibrations, just shoot me an email. I promise you I see it. Sometimes I respond four or five days later, but it's because I'm working through readings. And by me being silent, you know that I'm working quickly to get to your reading, okay? So don't take it as a bad thing. Just know that I'm working hard in order to get to that reading, all right? I love you guys so much, and I will be back in a few days for your love readings. But keep going, Leo. You guys are doing awesome. Take care.